Have you ever wanted to use layer cakes in a 3-yard quilt? Today, I'm going to show you how. Hi, it's Hannah with Fabric Cafe. Today, we're talking layer cakes. Layer cakes are pre-cut packages of 10 by 10 squares, and these can make your life a whole lot easier depending on what pattern you pick. There's usually 42 in a pack, and they can also add a lot of pizzazz to what you're making because they have lots of different fabric swatches, so you get all of these different designs within your quilt. Today, I'm gonna show you four different patterns that I think work great with layer cakes, plus I'm gonna give you some tips for when you wanna select your own patterns for layer cakes. So let's check out the first quilt. This is our City Lights pattern from the Fast and Fun book. There are a couple things I really like about this pattern. One, we have this nice big block here to show off our focus fabric, plus it can work with directional fabric, which is awesome. Then we have this secondary block, which gives a lot of movement to the quilt. It gives this nice diagonal all the way across, so it gives something for your eye to follow. This is actually a little four patch right here, and then you just put it together with a couple squares, making a bigger four patch, and that's what gives you your movement. We're gonna be using our layer cake in our number one position. So let's put it on the table and I'll give you some tips on how to do that. So first off, when you're selecting your pattern, you wanna select a pattern where the block is the same size or smaller than your layer cake. So the layer cakes are 10 by 10. You wanna make sure that your block is 10 by 10 or smaller. This pattern, the block is a little bit smaller than that, so you will have to trim it down, but that's super easy. Second, you want to make sure that your block is cut independently. That's going to make it just way easier to use. And what I mean by that is this block is cut all by itself. So here's just an example. You don't do any piecing with it. You don't build a strip assembly and cut units off of. That is possible to do, and we'll look at that in a little bit. But this is definitely the easiest way to delve into layer cakes. In this pattern, we have our blocks here. And then you'll also have corner blocks, and that's just a little smaller square. I do recommend when you're doing it to use a square ruler. It's not necessary, but it makes the job easier because you can get it square on your first try cutting it. And I always like to save steps, and I bet you guys do too. So if you have never tried a square ruler, I suggest them. They are my favorite quilting tool by far. Let's take a closer look at the fabrics that we have for this. First off, we have our layer cakes. And this is a very fun layer cake that has a bunch of different tropical jungle themes in here with a touch of metallic. That's gonna go everywhere you see these big blocks here as well as on our corner blocks. Then we have this white fabric which has these little speckles of silver metallic on it. So it just adds a nice shine and pop back there. That's gonna go everywhere you see this light purple and it will really highlight these steps right here and frame out our big blocks right here very nicely. Our number three is this black swirl, which it kind of picks up all of these animals, have some different touches of black in there. We've got some zebras and their, their features, they've got some black outlining, so it brings all that out too. And that's gonna go everywhere you see this dark purple. And you can see it has all of those different textures and colors, and the fun thing is you're gonna have a lot of different options when you have a layer cake. You get to pick what your favorites are. It usually includes all of the fabrics from that fabric line, and you usually get multiples per fabric since there's usually 42 in a pack. And I just think it ended up so nicely with that black stepping up. It has a lot of pop, a lot of drama, and the metallic on all of those animals plus that number two really make that kit shine. The info on this one is Jungle Party, the pattern City Lights from the Fast and Fun book, and this layer cake kit is available at fabriccafe.com. All right, now if you're not interested in using a layer cake, we do have a three yard option available. So let's check that out. We've got one of the fabrics from that line, so you can still get that same tropical fun vibe. And we've got all these beautiful flowers, all of these different colors with a lot of pop, and they have some of that metallic coming out. So that's gonna be everywhere you see this one and in our corner blocks. So a nice little pop right in the corner there. And then our number two 
It's that same white with that little metallic silver speckle, and that's going to go everywhere you see this light purple. Then our number three is really fun. It's this geometric multi-green stripe. So there's a lot of color, like a lot of shades of green in there. So it has a lot of dimension. And that's going to go everywhere you see this purple right here, this dark one. And you can see how it picks up all of this, uh, these green, the leaves, all of that. And stripes are really fun in a pattern like this because they will all be going on these. They'll be going this way, boop, boop. And then on your border, it's going to be going sideways like this. So that adds even more movement. I love using stripes in patterns like this when it's, it's easy. You don't have to worry about matching your seams or, you know, matching your stripes together because that's not fun. But this, you don't have to worry about that. And it's going to look fantastic. And you can see how those stripes are really framing the quilts and they add this extra movement to it and a lot of dimension for you to look at. And that white really complements that green and allows that to shine and your focus fabric to shine. So the name of this kit is Tropical Bouquet and the pattern is City Lights from the Fast and Fun book. This pattern is our friendship star from the Quick and Easy book. And again, we've got a nice big block so you can show off a focus. Plus, it also works as directional, which is something we're always looking for. And then you have this nice little peekaboo of the focus fabric in the middle of your star, which I really like that all three fabrics are used in this one block. It adds a lot of color, a lot of pop, and a lot of fun to that. And of course, the Friendship Star has a lot of nice movement and gets that cute little star on the quilt. I also really like these corner blocks because having that number two in the corner block as well as on that first border, or second border, excuse me, I think it really points your attention into the center of the quilt, which I like, you know, gives this angle coming in and it's pointing you to all that hard work you did piecing the quilt together. So it's a great quilt, lots of fun. We're gonna use our layer cake in our number one position again. So we'll see it here and in our little star. So let's check that out. All right, so another thing you should think about when you're picking a pattern for your layer cakes, I recommend not picking anything where that fabric is used on the border because you only have that 10 inch square. And so it makes it a little complicated. It's not impossible. So I am gonna show you an idea on how you could do that. Here we have, you know, example of our 10 by 10 square. What you can do is if you have a bunch of layer cakes left over or layer cake pieces that you wanna use for your border, you can do a pieced one. So I just took some other layer cakes and I cut pieces off of it. The width of my border, whatever that border width is. And I just did that for several. And then I sewed these strips end to end like this so that I would get a long strip. Ta-da! So it's really fun. It is a fun way to use your layer cake, but it is a little bit more time consuming. Not impossible. It's a really easy method and it does add a lot of dynamic uh, color to your quilts. But if you're not interested in doing that, I recommend either picking a pattern where your layer cake position is not used in the border or introducing an, another fabric. In this case, maybe I wanted to go with just like another red or something like that. And you can just use scraps from your stash or we also have something called end of bolts. And that's where we have just a little bit left over from when we're cutting kits. And it's not a full yard, but it's still a nice amount of fabric. Those are perfect to use for things like additional borders or if you want to do a double fold binding, you can check those out in our website, fabriccafe.com. We're going to go with this floral layer cake. And I love all of the colors in it. They're so rich. We've got a bunch of purples, which are very elegant and I think soothing. Some of those pinks and greens popping out there with these really artistic florals. They're very pretty. So that's going to go in our number one fabric which is right here and in the center of our friendship star. These blocks are cut independently, so you don't have to worry about that. You just gotta cut them down. And I'll mention this star right here. If you wanna mix 
pre-cut packages and you've got uh, charm packs at home too, you could bust those out too. Just remember it has to be the same size as your block or smaller, whatever you're cutting for. And if you're doing a lot of half square triangles, that might even be fun because if you're getting it closer to what the size is, you could save yourself some time. Our number two is this really pretty and, and kind of sweet white and cream crisscross. And so that has a nice texture and it almost, it makes me think of like lattice work that you would have in a garden. And that's gonna go everywhere you see this tan right here. So it'll really give our friendship star the ability to shine. Haha, <laughs> to shine. <laughs> and then our number three is this dark purple, which is so rich and it has this nice model texture and it picks up a lot of those purples that we have scattered through our, our layer cake. And that's gonna go everywhere you see this red It'll be on the border and on our binding. You can see how all of those different pinks and purples and even some navies really add a lot of contrast and a lot of pop. And that purple frames it out so nicely. So you can even use your white layer cakes in the center and it still shows up really nicely against that number two. The kit information for this one, the name is Purple Patio and it's using the Friendship Star pattern from the Quick and Easy book. So let's look at our three yard quilt version of this. We have this beautiful floral also from that line we were just looking at, and it has all of the different colors, all of these different florals in there, so it's just like a garden on your quilt, so soothing with that same dark background. And that's gonna be everywhere we see our uh, kind of posies, pansies here, and it'll be in the center of our Friendship Star. We have that same number two with that pretty crisscross lattice work. And you can see it picks up some of these lighter colors in our quilts. And that's gonna go everywhere you see this tan. And again, we have that really rich, pretty dark purple. And that's gonna be everywhere you see this orange. I love purple and this one is just, it's warming and soothing and it picks up all of these different purples in our focus fabric and really highlights them. You can see on the screen that that purple really frames out that focus nicely in the star, and there's a lot of contrast, so you can see the star really well with that purple on that white. There's those corner blocks, the creamy white corner blocks that are poking into the quilt, showing you, look at all of this beautiful work that I did making this gorgeous garden. The kit information for this one is Deborah's Garden, and the pattern is Friendship Star from the book Quick and Easy. This is the county fair pattern from our book Easy Does It, and I love it has three different blocks in it, so it has a lot of action going on, a lot of movement. First, we have this nice big block, which is very easy, it's just a square. Then you have a sashed block, which is also very easy. It's made with a strip assembly and then sewing uh, sashing onto the side. And then we have our nice large pinwheel. I love the addition of this pinwheel because it has a lot of action and it adds a lot of excitement to your quilts. And I love how this kind of balances it out and gives you a grounding place to look at while you're checking out this pattern. So our layer cake we're gonna use in this number one position right here. And we're gonna talk about how to make this block using a layer cake. So first off, let's see how this block is made. First, you would make a strip assembly. And that's sewing long strips edge to edge. This is just a little sample of one. It would be with the fabric. Then you cut a little unit just off that edge right here. Doo -doo. And then you would sew strips to either side. And that's how you get your block. Now obviously we can't do that when we use layer cakes. You can't make a strip assembly like that. But there's a really easy workaround. So let's look at that. When you're using a layer cake, what you're gonna do is you're going to sew one side of your layer cake onto your strip. Now I recommend chain piecing for this. And that's where you, you leave it in the machine and you just start placing your pieces on top, leaving a gap. 
So that way you have space to cut it and then press and trim it and get a nice trim so that it um, is flat. You can do this with either your big blocks on top or you can do it the other direction where you have the big blocks on the bottom with your strip on top. That's just a matter of personal preference. Some people like using it where the larger piece of fabric is on the bottom. I actually like putting my strip on the bottom and putting my other pieces on top. For some reason, I prefer having that kind of like that long piece, that long through line as my base for it. It just works for me better. But that's totally up to you what you prefer. I do really suggest chain piecing. It goes so much faster than you might think. I was not a chain piece believer. I will admit this. It wasn't until very recently that I was like, I'll give it a try. Let's, you know, let's see how it goes. And I am a believer now. It does make it go a lot faster and it's, it's smoother and easier. So I would just go down my nice long strip all the way on one side and then I would trim it, usually with scissors for that first initial trim, and then I would press them and then I would use my rotary to get a more exact trim. It makes it go a lot faster. Um, if you wanted, you could, after you just trimmed them apart, start on your other side and do that before you get your exact trim and then you can do it, you're pressing an exact trim on both sides. So that makes it go really fast and it's a nice way to use those layer cakes. We had to go fun and funky because this pattern is a little bit fun and funky. So we have this really cool blue, purple, big floral, very bold and exciting. And that's gonna go everywhere you see our number one, which is in the center of your block here, and our nice big block here. And this one is cut independently, so that one's super easy. Then for our number two, we have this weathered, textured, light, minty blue, which picks up all of those lighter tones in our layer cake and gives a really nice contrast so all of those different blues will show up. And that's gonna go everywhere you see our gold right here. Doo -doo -doo -doo. And that'll also be on our binding. Then we have that same color texture, but in, or that same pattern texture, but in a different colorway. This one is in this bold electric blue. So that picks up those darker shades of blue that we have in there. And that will go everywhere you see this kind of aqua on the quilt here. And that will really frame out our number one fabrics nicely. And you can see all of those fun florals popping out. And we've got some of those dots too that are in the layer cake. And I think it's fun having those in the smaller squares because it sort of sets apart these, these big florals and gives everything their moment to shine. And then we have our nice blue that's framing out all of those. It's just so rich and beautiful. I love the way that electric blue really pops against all of those different shades. This kit is called Funky Garden, and it is using the county fair pattern from the Easy Does It book. If you enjoy using pre-cuts like layer cakes or jelly rolls or charm packs in your quilts, then you should check out our book, Stash Busting with Three Yard Quilts. All of the patterns in these, this book are written for both three yards of fabric, and they include instructions on how to substitute things. At the very front of the book in our general instructions, we have a code on little images, a, a layer cake is represented by a cake. And then in the cutting instructions, it'll tell you what you can substitute. The quilt behind me is actually from that and it uses layer cakes. So check that out if you're really enjoying pre-cuts. Let's jump into another gorgeous three yard quilt. So keeping with that fun and funky vibe, we got this big, bold, blue, purple, floral. And this one's fun. It's on a little bit of a lilac background. So it adds this additional pop of color, which is fun. And that's going to go everywhere you see this medallion fabric. So it'll be in our nice big block here, as well as in the center of this secondary block. Our number two is that same minty seafoam, light blue color with that texture. I, I love having all that texture in there. It gives so much dimension to your quilts. And that's gonna go everywhere you see this gold, as well as on the binding. And then we have that same 
dark electric blue number three, which you can see how it picks up all these different shades of the blue. And also this purple kind of brings out these purple shades in it. So depending on what fabrics you put together, you can bring out different colors in those, which is fun. It highlights differently. So that's gonna go everywhere you see this aqua. And you can see how that blue really makes that, that focus fabric pop with those big florals. And the light blue adds a lot of dimension and it really highlights the pinwheel. So you can see all of that movement really well. I think it turned out so bold and funky and fun. The kit information for this is Blue Terrace and it's using the pattern County Fair from the book Easy Does It. This is our chain reaction pattern from the Modern Views book. And I love this movement that it has. Instead of having this diagonal movement, we've got it going vertically. And it's almost like these are rings that are connected by ribbons. And I love the way that these two really show off this number two pad, this number two fabric right here. Now we're actually gonna do something a little spicy with this one. We're gonna put our layer cakes not in the number one position like we've been doing. We're gonna put it in our number two. So let's check that out and see what that's gonna look like. Before we look at this kit for chain reaction, I wanna show you a new free goodie we have. And it's our top 10 favorite patterns to use with layer cakes. And these are all where you cut the block independently and it is not on the border. So it makes it really fast, really easy, and you can use all of those fun layer cakes that you have. Just head over to our website, fabriccafe.com, and click on that free goodies tab and it'll be under there. Now I mentioned we are gonna use our layer cake in our number two position. And that's kind of my biggest tip when you're working with layer cakes. Don't be afraid to move things around, have fun play with them, put them in different positions, use them in different ways than you might think. Mix and match, it's a lot of fun, so don't be afraid to think outside the box. So all these bright, fun colors are gonna go everywhere you see this white, and that will be in our number two position. For our fabric number one, we wanted a lot of contrast so that the, the bold colors would really pop. So we are just going with a classic black and white, black and white and pop of color. So for our number, one, in this case, it will actually be this white. So I'll just put that there for a visual. We've got our white, so that's gonna go everywhere you see this green. And it has this really nice texture to it, so you'll still have a lot of dimension on your quilt. For our number three, we've got this black modeled color, modeled texture, and that'll be everywhere you see this purple. Now. I think the best visual is just to show you that image so you can see why we swapped it around. You can see we used all of those different colors in our vertical snowballs and our secondary blocks so that you could really see all the different colors. And that black and white just frames it out so that the colors are really the star of the show. Don't be afraid to move your places around. It can turn out looking like this stunning, bright, fun quilt. Now the kit information on this is Color Surge, and the pattern is Chain Reaction from the Modern Views book. Our three yard kit version of this, we kept it in this pink and purple family. We couldn't have all of the different colors, so we picked some of our favorites. And I love this beautiful pink with this very fluid movement, very fluid movement with that pink and all of the, the textures of, there's some orange in there, some purples, some little pops of yellow to give it a lot of texture and movement. That's going to be everywhere you see this green right here. We're keeping it in the normal positions because there's a lot of different textures with all of these. Then we have our number two, which is a paler pink, Still has a lot of different colors in there. We got some white, some little speckles of yellow, and that's gonna go everywhere you see our white right here. Then our number three, we wanted a nice strong contrast so that we could really see the design of the quilt. So we went with this dark purple, and that's gonna go everywhere you see the purple on this quilt. And this is going to really allow these quilt blocks to shine so you can actually see the quilt piecing that you worked on. And you can see how having that nice light pink in the center of those blocks really lets you see the piecing work in the pattern and that movement down the quilts and how that purple really frames it nicely and lets it pop. And I love that 
that pink on the border. It's just so fun seeing all of that fluid move movement. Really nice dimension. The kit information for this is Vibrant Fun. The pattern is Chain Reaction from the Modern Views book. Have you ever used layer cakes in any of your quilts? Let us know in the comments what your favorite pattern is for using layer cakes. Also, if you make any of these, send us pictures. We love to see what you're working on. Send those to welisten at fabriccafe.com. If you're looking for even more pre-cut inspiration, be sure to watch the video that pops up. It's Hannah with Fabric Cafe. Happy quilting!